Good morning, ESM. Welcome back. And uh, today is a very interesting day. We're starting to get some people back to the school. Um, we actually have some more tech people, so the show is going to be much better, hopefully running forward. And um, it's going to be very good. And uh, not, not for me. Let's look some net weather with Sophie. News. 50-year-old driver DMX is on life support after suffering a heart attack following a possible overdose. His lawyer, Murray Richmond, stated that the rapper is in White Plains Hospital as of Saturday evening. He's quite ill, Murray said. DMX, whose real name is Earl Simmons, has suffered with substance abuse in the past, which is why it's been speculated that the heart attack was caused by an overdose. However, this statement has not been confirmed by Richmond. DMX remains in ICU as in a critical condition as of now. 19-year-old Oscar Bays died yesterday morning after he lost control on his Honda Civic on Interstate 64 in Hampton. Virginia State Police say he was driving at high speed rates with no seat belt just past Magridder Boulevard around 3 a.m. Bays ended up driving off the road and hitting a tree. After the accident, first responders took him to Centera Careplex Hospital. Bays was then sent to a helicopter to Centra Norf Norfolk General Hospital, where he passed. There was no evidence of any alcohol or drugs, so police believe that it wasn't involved. The highly anticipated trial of Derek Chauvin regarding the death of George Floyd started on Monday. The trial was live streamed online, and viewers watched as the lawyers opened with their initial remarks, and the video showing the final minutes of Floyd's life was replayed. The trial was called heart-wrenching by the attorney representing George Floyd. Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to second-degree unintentional murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter charges. I'm so pleased and for Pledge Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. and a low of 30, 30 degrees, and today will be mostly sunny. As you can see behind me, there isn't much going on, and there will be some afternoon breezes. Tonight will be clear and have some breezes. Tuesday will have a high of 59 and a low of 38 degrees, and Tuesday will basically be the same as Monday and leading to a good week. And I'm Grayson with your weather. <coughs> team defeated Fulton 49 to 7 on Saturday. Quarterback Tyler Bell had 261 passing yards and three passing touchdowns, two to receiver Nate Polano and the other to receiver Nolan Palmer. Running back Makai Combs had another strong performance putting up 177 yards and two rushing touchdowns. The other two rushing touchdowns came from Amir Brinson and Roddy Nellens. The defense was led by Amari Withers and Gideon Azomo who both had 10 tackles. Withers also had two sacks for the, for the Spartans. The winner of the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship was Stanford, defeating Arizona 54-53. Haley Jones led the team in points with 17. The men's championship basketball game is also today at 9-20 between Baylor and Gonzaga. Baylor easily defeated Houston 78-59, and UCLA's Cinderella run was cut short by Gonzaga in an insanely close back-and-forth game. The game was tied up 90-90 with only a few seconds left when Gonzaga's Jalen Suggs made a buzzer-beater three to take Gonzaga to the championship. The 2021 MLB season has officially started and already only three teams remain undefeated. The Baltimore Orioles, the Houston Astros, and the Philadelphia Phillies. And I'm Luke with your sports. Well, I just want to apologize to Sophie there. I guess I took my break and enjoyed it a little bit too much for myself, but 
All in all, I hope you guys had a wonderful break. But before we go, I want to say our deepest apologies and our sadness to share that uh, Mark Gar uh, Garvey, our, one of our physical education teachers from Manoa Elementary, passed away. Mr. Garvey taught at ESM for more than two, 29 years and coached softball, football, and basketball. Mr. Garvey was, was a strong advocate for the jump, jump ropes for heart and, the, and for the Heart Foundation. Um, I can't say much. I hope everyone else has a really good, a really good, really good break and make sure you take your time and um, yeah, from me, everyone here at the morning show, have a great day.